a fresh start. No matter how much networking experience you have, a reboot or a restart is often a quick and easy way to make everything as right as rain. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to manually reboot or reset a CBS switch. Cisco business switches allow you to manually reboot or reset the switch. You may want to reboot the switch to apply certain configuration changes, such as enabling jumbo frame support or after upgrading the firmware. A reboot can also fix issues if your switch is not functioning as expected. It's important to remember that rebooting the switch deletes the running configuration. So unless you want to redo any configuration since the last reboot, you should save the running configuration to the startup configuration before you proceed. Once you're set, access the switch and navigate to Administration Reboot. In CBS 250 or 350 series switches, you can choose to reboot the switch immediately at a specific date or time, or configure a time after which the switch will reboot. In this example, I'll choose Immediate. If you want to restore the device to factory default settings, or clear the startup configuration the next time it boots up, you have the option to select it here. I don't want to restore to factory defaults, so I'll make sure that the box is not checked. Once you've selected your preference, click Reboot. Another easy way to reboot the switch is to just press and hold the reset button on the device for less than 10 seconds, and you're all set. Okay, next I'll show you how to manually reset the CBS switch to factory default. At times, a reset to factory default settings can be very helpful and may be required if the device is not running correctly and the solution isn't obvious. In another case, maybe you received a switch that another person in the company used and you need to clear the configuration and start over. To do this, disconnect all the ethernet cables from the switch. If there's a reset button on your switch model, you can hold it for more than 10 seconds. For models that have a depressed reset button, you can take an open paperclip, like this, and insert the paperclip. Hold it there for more than 10 seconds. Once all the port LEDs light up, release the reset button. When the booting process completes, connect your computer directly to access the switch using an ethernet cable. To connect properly, you'll need to make sure that your ethernet interface has an IP address in the same subnet as the switch. To check or modify this on your Windows PC, select Control Panel, Network and Internet, and Network Connections. Select the ethernet interface, then TCP slash IPv4 properties. Enter an IP address somewhere in the range of 192.168.1.2 to 192.168.1.253. Choose an address that is not already in use. In this example, I have set my Ethernet address to 192.168.1.252. The subnet mask is 255.255.255.0, and the default gateway, the switch, is 192.168.1.254. Once you're done, click OK and close the windows. Select and open a web browser. Enter the IP address of the switch in the address bar. The default IP address of the switch is 192.168.1.254. Once connected, the switch will prompt for a username and password. The default username and password are Cisco, all lowercase. Here, configure a new password for better protection of your network. Enter Cisco in the old password field and enter your new password in the new password and confirm password fields. Click apply to apply the configuration. Once prompted by the pop-up message, click OK. Click the blinking save icon to save these settings to the startup configuration file. Easy as one, two, three. Now you know a few simple ways to reboot and restart your CBS switch. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.